Good afternoon, I'm Larry O'Connor. This is your Drive at 5, Washington. Coming up at the bottom of this hour, we're going to explore the issue of these unaccompanied minors who have illegally entered our country getting airlifted and dropped right into Prince William County, Virginia, without any notification. They're your new neighbors. Hooray! We'll talk about that. But right now, we're joined by Representative Jeff Miller. He of Florida, Republican chairman of the Veterans Affairs Committee. Uh, Mr. Chairman, thanks for joining us today. Hey, Larry. Great to be with you. Thanks. Well, you had a marathon hearing last night well into the wee hours of the morning. So much to address, but I first want to address uh, something that you revealed about three hours into the hearing. Uh, your staff, the congressional staff for the Veterans Affairs Committee, went up to the Philadelphia Veterans Affairs Regional Office on July 2nd to, uh, to do an unannounced visit to sort of audit things, check things out. And you revealed yesterday that they were they were spied on. They were put into a room with electronic surveillance. How is that even possible. Well, interestingly enough, as the staff got there, and they only gave them 15 minutes heads up, they were three different occasions told that they needed to go to a specific room, but there was an employee there that said it wasn't necessary. They could bring the files and the computers up to the conference room that they were in, and the acting director then took that employee outside, had a two- or three-minute conversation when they came back into the room my staff was directed to go to another floor into what is a video uh, teleconference hearing room. And in that room, both of the mics were hot and the camera itself was activated. Now, I don't know if they were recording anything, but it makes you wonder if they weren't preparing uh, to monitor them as they went through and reviewed files. And that's what they were there to do. They go and arbitrarily pick five or six different cases. They go through those cases to make sure that they're being adjudicated appropriately. Uh, and my staff said, we're not going to do it in this room, and they requested to be taken to another room. And uh, Allison Hickey, the Undersecretary for Benefits at the VA, she didn't deny this when you confronted her on No, there was absolutely no attempt by the VA to, in fact, deny that it occurred. We actually have photographs. Uh, of the microphones and the cameras. Uh, we also have a photograph of a legal pad that some things were written on that uh, I'm sure VA wishes had never been discovered. Uh, but all this does is show that there is a culture within the department that will stonewall the constitutionally uh, obligated body, Congress, from being able to do the oversight work that we are trying to do just so they can protect the status quo. Yeah, after all of these months, after the years, frankly, of uh, the the revelations of how these bureaucrats have been completely mucking up the VA, even now, even after all the publicity, they're still stonewalling you and, and acting like they can operate outside of the confines of your committee. And they have done that, as you said, for so long that it is normal procedure and process for them that's what's got to change. That's why the acting secretary, I know, is trying diligently to, to make a difference. But until employees can be in, held accountable uh, and something happens to them to cause them some pain somewhere, uh, disciplinary action up to and including firing for not doing your job, not doing it appropriately, but what VA does on a consistent basis is they try to re-educate somebody, and in many cases, they just move them to another office. And I don't think that is the way to instill confidence in the, the good, hard-working individuals that go to work. And the vast majority of VA employees are, in fact, hard-working individuals. But this mid-level management layer is there to stonewall at every turn. Representative Jeff Miller is our guest. He's the chairman of the House VA Committee, and we're talking about last night's hearings. And uh, I want to play a little audio of you, Kristen Ruel, an employee at the uh, Pension Management Center, who is a whistleblower. Uh, she discovered this new layer of scandal where they're actually backlogging and changing the dates of benefits claims, not just appointments, now benefits claims. And uh, she also said this. I saw these boxes that were labeled 2010 claims, 2011 claims, 2012 claims to be shredded. So I opened them, I took pictures, um, and I saw things in the boxes that are not supposed to be shredded. The VA told me that because I didn't see the shredding happening, 
that it wasn't shredded. Uh, so now uh, much has been said about her testimony already in the new revelations. One thing I want to l- laser in on here is her treatment. Apparently, she and other very brave whistleblowers, people that we are trying to encourage in our federal government to step forward when they see something like this, to step forward and have their voices heard. She was bullied. She was harassed. What, what kind of abuse did they heap on her? Well, obviously, making them do certain things that they were not hired to do, not giving them promotions, giving them uh, bonuses, which has always been the way that they have controlled their employees by providing them the bonuses. We actually uh, have passed a bill in the House that takes away the bonuses uh, within the department, uh, at least for the next two years. It will save about $400 million. But, you know, just a constant drip, 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 turning other employees against her, uh, her own friends in some cases, and this is an individual that was just trying to bring uh, to the administration's attention that they were not doing things appropriately. We had three great witnesses last night. We had four great witnesses last week, uh, all with credible whistleblowers, and every one of them recounted the things that had been done to them to retaliate. And, of course, the undersecretary sat there last night and said these types of things are not tolerable. They should not be occurring. <laughs> and, yet, and yet they keep occurring. Yeah, yeah. And they do. And, that, and she's right with what she says, but nobody does anything to stop it. Chairman Miller, re- really fast. We're, we're out of time. But uh, you just mentioned you took a picture. Your staff took a picture of a legal pad that the VA people wouldn't uh, want to be seen. You want to share with us? What well, on the top legal of the legal pad had uh, the two whistleblowers' names written and circled. Then it had about halfway down in the pad that uh, they should ignore my congressional staff. Uh, and, you know, when I tried to get them to explain what that meant, they said, well, that, that they should ignore what people said about my congressional staff. The fact of the matter is they were caught in a bullface lie. Uh, and they should be more than embarrassed. Wow. All right, Representative Jeff Miller, Florida, chairman of the VA, thank you so much, as always, for joining us. Uh, Again, I always tell you, and you always take me up on it, as uh, this story continues to develop, you have an open door right here on WMA. Thanks, Larry. Let's do it again. Thank you, sir.